Namaskar and hello and welcome back to my channel. This video covers the April 19 derivative data uh, positions open at the end of today's play by all the participants. <clears throat> Sorry. So we start with what the FIIs have done out here and that is they have again shorted futures and a little bit of longs have been done but more of short futures being again added by them. Out here, we can see 3,500, a little bit of long also. So overall figure, 38, 738 uh, net short. That ratio now has gone up from 1.72 to 1.77, slowly, trickly going up. Domestic institutions, long, short covering out here. They've been doing it daily. Every day, domestic institutions have been you know, covering their April shorts. Those same thing like the FIIs, no shots added. A little bit of some of them have even done a long out here. Clients continue to build long in this decline. They keep adding, and some of the clients are shorting, but more of long build up from the clients. From the FII data of futures, we can see it's been a round of selling, round of selling across the board. In the index options, the FII put call ratio has gone better from 1.54 now to 1.39. So see, that's primarily because of this large position out here. But if you look at it properly, this could be next month spreads being formed, you know, because the quantity of put buying is also quite heavy versus the quantity of put selling. So it could be, you know, monthly May far off or some far off expiry long put versus near put being shorted out here like that. But overall, the ratio is going like that. Even in the call side, it's almost one, not very far from one is to one addition taking place out there. So this data should not be taken too bullishly. We'll see how the days progress from that angle. If I, a domestic institution, very small quantity of put <coughs> unwinding out there. The prop desk, which were neutral for this expiry, continue to be neutral. You can see uh, there is hardly any change from there. In fact, more puts now being added to like odd figure uh, stands out there now. So they are neutral for the expiry. Clients, very bullish for the expiry. They are long and they remain put short, but they've reduced their quantity of put shots out here. Uh, still, they are bullish for this particular expiry coming on tomorrow. The stock futures, once again, FII shots in the system. You can see some shots added, some longs also added. So which you can look into the... Uh, Today's fresh shorting, you get an idea if whether it's uh, which stocks they're going into. It's a rough idea, not an exact idea going out there. Domestic institutions also, some shorts, they're almost equivalent longs also added out here. The prop desk going again similar to the DII addition of both taking place. Large quantity of longs also added. Domestic institutions like the props here in this again. Good addition taking place out there. Okay. Stock calls and puts. Good addition out here from the FIA desk. But again, a good addition here also. So it's more stock specific going ahead from them, matching both the sides. DIIs, brilliant guys, more calls short out here. Prop desk. Again, you can see a large quantity of call short. This is huge. Yesterday, we saw 55,000. Today, we are seeing 32,000 again shorted from them. So, around 77,000 contracts out of this 611 have happened in two days. So, they are expecting solid melting in those contracts in the next six tra trading sessions of this settlement. Some puts also almost matching taking place out there from them. This is a more of a bearish stand from the prop desk out here. 
clients on the other end super bullish once again lots of calls added and huge quantity of put shorted from the client desk so client super bullish versus props bearish on stocks out here for tomorrow the settlement ex weekly expiry nifty support comes in at 17500 and if that does not hold then 17400 resistance 17710 above that 17775 while the uh, bank nifty support comes in at 41800 if that cracks 41600 resistance 42300 for and above that at 44600 with the this video i'm adding a link to the possibility of an ichimoku c clamp which got activated today please have a look at it and i hope you like this video please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel bye bye